This is the moment just before a Russian fighter jet collided with a U.S. drone over the Black Sea. The thick plumes of smoke, jet fuel being vented by the Russian Su-27 as it passes. We don't see the moment of impact, but here is the propeller of the MQ-9 Reaper drone undamaged, and here it is later, clearly damaged. It had to have been some kind of an impact. And I don't think, uh, you know, while the fuel spill on top of the uh, on top of the aircraft, on top of the MQ-9 would have been uh, significant, I don't think it would have caused that damage. The newly declassified footage appears to directly contradict Russia's claim that the aircraft did not make physical contact. There was no collision, you see that. The problem is that we, we didn't contact to this drone. The Russians have been just flat out lying, flat out lying about their accounts. The U.S. has not yet determined whether the pilots intended to directly hit the drone, forcing the U.S. military to crash the drone into the Black Sea some 80 nautical miles from land. We know that the intercept was intentional. Uh, we know that the aggressive behavior was intentional. We also know it was very unprofessional and very unsafe. Uh, the actual contact of the uh, fixed-wing uh, uh, Russian fighter with our UAV, the physical contact of those two, not sure yet. But CNN is learning that the Russian pilots did not go rogue. U.S. officials familiar with the intelligence say the pilots were ordered to harass the drone by senior officials in Russia's defense ministry. The fact that we've seen uh, a pattern on the part of the forces of the Russian Federation suggests to us at least that, that there's at least some uh, senior level approval of this kind of activity. For now, the fate of the drone's wreckage remains unclear. The U.S. has no naval assets in the Black Sea that can readily retrieve it, and the Russians have already reached the crash site and recovered some small pieces of debris. But the U.S. took steps to wipe the drone's software, officials tell CNN, making it highly unlikely that Moscow will glean anything valuable from its remnants. We did take uh, mitigating measures, uh, so we are quite confident that whatever, uh, whatever was of value is no longer of value.